For years, Hawaii has sought solutions to two critical issues that affect the sustainability of our island home. The first is the need for an environmentally safe and economically feasible way to dispose of refuse, which typically goes into a landfill. The second is to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and protect our environment by making greater use of clean, renewable energy resources. At the PVT Recycling Facility in Nanakuli, a new recycling system is helping to accomplish both objectives. The PVT landfill is the only construction and demolition landfill on Oahu and accepts only C and D debris. Trash picked up at your home doesn't come here. But when houses and buildings are torn down or built, the wood, metal, plastic, wire, concrete, and other construction and demolition debris all end up here. For years, materials like these were buried in a secure, protectively sealed landfill. But now, the majority of this debris is getting an important second life. Much of what enters the PVT facility as debris is separated, shredded, and ultimately turned into feedstock, fuel that can be burned to produce clean synthetic natural gas that can be combusted in a boiler to generate electricity for Oahu's power grid. About 60% of incoming debris can be processed into feedstock for use by bioconversion facilities and other power generators. The PVT recycling system can handle about 1,775 tons of debris a day. That much debris yields about 900 tons of feedstock, enough to produce electricity for up to 12,000 homes. PVT has made a substantial investment in equipment and added 15 new jobs to bring this new recycling system online. An excavator grabs large pieces of wood and plastic too large to pass through the system. These will be processed separately. Concrete and asphalt are separated and will be crushed and reused as cover on roads. Large pieces of metal, including specialty metals, are pulled for off-site recycling and reuse. What remains, a mixed load of construction debris, is loaded into a vibrating taper screen. Pieces of debris smaller than six inches in size fall through the screen onto an unders conveyor. Debris over six inches, which is about 60% of the total debris, continues to the overs conveyor. A magnetic separator pulls anything magnetic, hinges, nails, bolts, and other metal pieces from the conveyor and drops them into a metal spin. A secondary taper screen separates dirt, rocks, broken glass, and other pieces of debris that are less than one inch in size. What is left is prime feedstock material. This debris continues on to the sorting line. Here workers clean and separate, pulling remaining pieces of rock, metal, and other materials from the feedstock debris stream. Up to 42 tons of metals are pulled for recycling by PVT every day. Meanwhile, on the over-sorting line, a team of 10 sorts debris six inches and larger, pulling pieces of metal and other materials from the debris stream. These are dropped into bins below the sorting line for recycling. Debris suitable for feedstock is ground and shredded into pieces of uniform size and piled for pickup. By now, all that remains is wood, plastic, paper, cloth, and other materials suitable for bioconversion. Because Oahu's gasification facilities are still in the planning stages, the feedstock will be buried at the landfill until it can be reclaimed for use when the time comes. The environmental advantages of this system are found in the numbers. Only about 20% of construction debris entering the facility now actually goes into the landfill, an 80% reduction. 
60% of materials are reclaimed and converted for use as feedstock, with an additional 20% destined for other recycling or reuse. Feedstock from PVT can reduce the amount of imported oil consumed to produce electricity on Oahu by about 200,000 barrels per year, which means roughly $20 million will remain in Hawaii's economy every year, instead of being paid to foreign oil producers. It's also worth noting that none of this has come at taxpayer expense or with the aid of government subsidies. Call it a landfill, but this is the future of smart waste management. By converting debris into feedstock for the production of electricity, we reduce our dependence on landfills and fossil fuels and enable the production of cleaner, more affordable, renewable energy where we need it most, working for the people of Hawaii.